Hey lovelies, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, hi, my name's Lena. I talk about life, relationships, and of course, hooters. So if any of that interests you, please, please, please stay super tuned in. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Um, of course, I'm in my car because I have nowhere else to film and I think it's kind of cute. It's giving Kim K today, like... Mm, mm, mm. Anyways, in my previous video, I spoke about a lot of stuff, but specifically, I talked about how I basically revolved my entire world around my ex and I planned my future with my ex. I just want to talk about the red flags that I ignored, not missed, because I definitely saw them. So, um, without further ado, let's get into the video. First of all, for the purpose of this video, we're not going to use his actual okay for the purpose of this video we're gonna call my ex joe i am obsessed with the show you and i cannot wait for the next season to come out and it's giving very much joe so let's get started officially i met joe on instagram him and two other guys who i did not know were his friends at the time dm'd me about these jerseys that i was modeling for this podcast okay so i basically sent all three of them the same freaking message and pretty much they were like okay not interested so they all left me alone and then I proceeded to you know post on Instagram I posted a story talking about why do I only attract athletes and freaking drug dealers and whatnot and he slid up on my freaking story and was like what about DJs because Joe is a DJ I messaged him back and I was like DJs are the worst he so-called got in his feelings and stopped messaging me, which intrigued me because if you don't want me, I'm going to want you. Toxic. Gave him my number. We going back and forth, you know, flirting, talking about ex, all this type of shit. When I first met Joe on Instagram, I was working at Hooters and I really wanted him to come see me. So I kept telling him, hey, come see me at work, come see me at work. He would kind of allude to the fact that he would come see me, but it was never like an actual like, yes, I'm coming, I'm here type of thing. So he never actually came to see me, which I thought was weird because if you're flirting with me, I'm flirting with you. Why not come see me at work? It was my thing. Any guy that I was like flirting with, I'd be like, hey, come see me at Hooters. And they would come see me. So I'm like, why is this mother not coming to see me at work? So somewhere in between us talking, I started working at Twin Peaks. Again, I asked him, hey, it's like my first day on the floor. Want to come see me? Give me some good luck money. You know, something like that. And never came. Never fucking came. So I'm like, okay, this is getting really, really, really weird. One night he asks me to come over. Mind you, I'm leaving work. It's been a long night. I had a long shift. And when I get there, I text him. No response. I sit there. Maybe like five minutes goes by. Send him another text message. Doesn't respond. Call him a few times. Never responds. I told him, I was like, look. I'm not this type of girl. You're not going to have me on hold. I'm not going to, you know, go out of my way to come see you. And then you just not even answer your phone. Like, what the, are you, like, what is this? So I ended up driving off. Not even 30 seconds of me going up the street, he calls me. And he's like, I'm so sorry. Da, 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 da. I actually never answered the phone I, that I can remember. But I do know that he texted me for a fact, talking about, I'm so sorry. Like, please come back. I did not go back. I was very stubborn and I was like, I'm actually gonna go home now because I'm already 15 minutes away. No, I wasn't. But I was just like, you're not gonna waste my time and then get rewarded for it. So I was very proud of myself that I did that. However, I didn't end up going back another night. When I got there the second time, I realized that there was no car. Like, I was just confused. I'm thinking like, maybe they have a garage. I don't know, I just noticed that there wasn't a car and he wanted me to park at the next door neighbor's house because there wasn't actually a neighbor living there. Why do you want me to park at the next door neighbor's house and there's no car in y'all's driveway? Confusion. But you know, he talked up a big game, like I have all this stuff prepared for you, we can watch a movie, flirting with me for, for weeks. Sorry. <clears throat> and so when I get inside, I'm like, oh my gosh, hope I don't get kidnapped. Mind you, I had already had like a shot or two at work, so I drove tipsy. I'm so sorry. Yes, I did drive tipsy. When I get in there, we go up the stairs being really quiet because he lives with his grandparents and I'm over here creeping up the stairs. First of all, they're squeaking. So I'm trying to like match his footsteps. Like imagine like me trying to walk at the same speed he's walking, heart racing. I was just like, why am I sneaking inside of this man's house? Why? We get in the room. I'm talking, 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 talking. I do love to talk and I can admit that I probably talk too much. So that wasn't like a big sign for me. I was thinking maybe he's just a listener. But after like a couple hours, I don't think he had said a word, you know, like not at all. He made like a 
few gestures. I'd ask him a question. He would like shrug. Sometimes he wouldn't even respond. Um, he nodded his head a lot and wasn't even really looking at me. I remember him like looking down at his laptop, going over to his board, starting to mess around with his music a little bit. And I was like, am I annoying you? I feel like I'm annoying you. You're not really saying anything. But I was so, you know, excited and just like tipsy that all of that kind of just went over my head. Like I didn't really care that he wasn't talking to me. At that point I was like, can I take a shower? Been at work all day. I literally smell like fucking food. I, you know, go to his bathroom or whatever. As I'm starting to like look around in the bathroom, being a little bit nosy, he comes in the bathroom and I'm like, oh, hey, like I was just about to take my clothes off and get in the shower. I'm standing there. I'm like, are you going to watch me take a shower? I don't even know you. Mind you, I was going there with the idea that, that we were going to have, but I didn't want him to watch me take a shower, but he would not leave the bathroom. So I thought that was really, really weird. We did end up having and I told him to use a condom. I was really drunk by this point. He had given me some more alcohol, so I thought he did put a condom on because there was a pause where it seemed like he like kind of went to the dresser and started looking for one. Seemed like he put one on, but it didn't feel like it. And I'm very, very allergic to condoms. So I was like, okay, wow, this is like the best I've ever had with a condom. He never put the condom on. I figured that out later. You just weren't gonna use a condom? You're just gonna fuck me raw, you don't even know me, I don't know you. It was just really, really scary. I keep asking him to come see me at work, doesn't. So I texted his friend, one of the guys that actually messaged me about the jerseys, and I was like, hey, does Joe not have a car? His friend kinda just was like, lol, he does. I was like, he does? Well, where is it? Like, why does he never come to see me? Why am I always the one going to see him? It's just really weird, I've never seen him post about his car y'all all are into cars y'all all go to these races where's his car and he was just like well he's had some car troubles blah 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 I was like okay I was afraid to ask Joe and I don't really even know why I was afraid to ask him because I'm a pretty curious person I like to ask questions I like to talk so for me to feel like I couldn't ask Joe was a sign doesn't have a car lives with his grandparents doesn't have a job as far as I can tell because you're always free and available for me to come over. So we never even talked about what he does for work. He just said he's a DJ and I believed him. We did hang out a couple times, no official dates. He never spent money on me. We went to like the lake, I think for a walk. And then that was about it. He came with me to get my car washed a couple times and that was really it y'all. So, you know, I was, I was kind of a little bit aggressive, okay? I remember one night he told me he was going to Florida with some friends and I was just thinking like, you're not gonna invite me. We've been talking for a while. We hung out a few times. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm fun. Like you don't wanna take me with you to Florida. I wanna go to Florida. And I had been talking about how I wanna go somewhere. So that was just weird to me. That's around the time when I found out that he wasn't really taking me serious. So I ended up booking a hotel to make some content for my OnlyFans and I ended up actually having with someone else. Um, and that was like during my and Joe's talking stage, I guess. Comes back from Florida, maybe a week or two goes by, and this mother tells me that he's about to go to jail. Joe is about to go to jail. What did you do? You know, I'm sitting here like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know. Like, uh, what did you do? What did you do, Joe? Long story short, Joe never really told me why he was going to jail. He said he didn't feel comfortable telling me these things when he doesn't know who I am. Um, you know, he doesn't really know me like that. And I'm like, okay, I have a daughter. So I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, what if he's a child molester? What if he got in trouble for doing something with a child? Like I can't be with someone who's done something like that. So I asked him, he was like, no, like it's nothing like that. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So I stick this, this shit out, y'all. I am the ride or die, bitch. I held his ass down while he went to jail, calling him all the time, putting money on his books. When we were on the phone, he would always get short with me and get angry. And I would kind of just like, you know, brush it under the rug. Cause I'm like, obviously you're in jail. Like your life sucks right now. I don't expect you to be happy. And maybe me talking about, oh, like, what are you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing? I'm sitting in jail. You know what I'm saying? So I could kind of understand like maybe I'm annoying. So I just kind of like didn't really think much of that. But looking back, he did have a really short temper and I could see the anger. You know, I could see it. And then I found out that another bitch was calling him while he was in jail because he told me. And I was like, OK, like apparently the girl that got him in trouble, which 
side note nobody got him in trouble like joe keep it real you got yourself in trouble you were doing wrong things hanging out with the wrong crowd doing stupid stuff so it's your fault why you got in trouble don't blame the bitch but anyways the bitch felt bad for him and kept calling him while he was in jail and i'm thinking am is she your bitch like like where's this going joe so Joe gets out of jail. I think he was in there for like eight months or so. It was really hard time for me because I started to love Joe and I wanted him to get out so bad. We spoke all the time. I just wanted someone to cuddle with at night. I had got my own apartment and I was just in my bed all alone. I had a queen size bed and sorry guys, my phone was acting crazy. But yeah, needless to say, I held that motherfucker down while he was in jail, let him come live with me. His grandparents and his mom were like, no, we don't want him to move out. We don't want him to live with you. Please, like, da 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 Anyways, I was like, motherfucker, you're going to come live with me. Okay, I'm going to take care of you. Got this mother a car in my name. Um, and then as soon as he got the car, he thought he was big and bad, started going out, ignoring my ass, basically treating me like the motherfuckers on love after lockup. Like, you was all about me while you was in jail, and now that you're out, you're just free, and you're not paying me no attention. So, you know, I was feeling some type of way. Yes, I was because you're sleeping in my bed. You're not paying bills. I got you your car technically because your mom, your grandparents, they weren't going to put it in their name. It's in my name. You know, it's on me if you don't pay it. Um, we had a really bad rainstorm that turned into a flood. Prior to the flood actually happening, my phone went off and I called him. I was like, hey, like, where are you? What's going on? You were supposed to be home by now. I had already got my sexy clothes on. We were supposed to. And I was like, what the fuck? not responding to my to my phone calls then eventually my phone calls went straight to voicemail i was like all right fuck you like obviously you're with another bitch. and he got stuck in that flood and almost died he was calling me crying he ended up having to go to some motherfucking stranger's house that's what you motherfucking get you know you don't want to come home when i say you should come home you want to run around act stupid and forget about me okay well you almost died so and i feel like if i would have just stopped talking to him as soon as I found out he was going to jail or or as soon as I found out he didn't have a car and he didn't tell me and he just kept on acting like he was going to come see me at work but never did there was just so many things that I wish I would have just been like you're cut off it's okay I'm good on that but I didn't held him down stuck it through I've really enjoyed this video <laughs> while well, making it for you guys and I hope that you guys enjoy it and I hope that you guys can learn something from it because that is why I'm making this video not trying to throw Joe under the bus if you know who Joe is I'm not trying to or use this video for clout or to talk crap about him because I can make a whole separate video about what happened towards the end of our relationship and things that I did and it's a lot there's a lot to unpack and unfold so if you guys want me to make another video I will until next time I love you guys so 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 very much and I'll see you in my next video bye